came from Japan in the mid 1800s. This one over here is a pretty large one that we cut down and you can see smaller offshoots all over. You'll see them all along fence lines and if you're driving through a rural area you'll see them along roadways in the middle and eastern United States. They're invasive because they have no known predators and they will choke out native species by taking their sunlight, their soil, and their water. So I'm going to show you how to cut one and then we're going to put some tortoise on it. Alright, let's get started. First you need your PPE, you need safety glasses, gloves, hearing protection, and these are chainsaw chaps. They're designed to stop your chainsaw if you hit them. Put it in this bottle because it's a little easier to control. Cover your base and then if you look at this one you can see that it's hollow. Invasive species usually have a hollow especially the smaller ones like these whereas native species they will not be hollow. So even the smaller ones we're just going to put a little on and you need to do it right after you cut it and this will kill its root system. Otherwise they will keep popping back up. So it's pretty simple but getting rid of all of it is a chore because it's everywhere. So over here you can see a wood that is basically infested by honeysuckle and then over here this wood has been cleared out for a year now and this is what it should look like. If you have any tips, tricks, or information on honeysuckle, please comment below. Make sure you check out my other informational videos. 